so i will show you one program also small program new package day one new class reading click. select this public static void main click on finish you might be knowing that okay very first i need to read the workbook so depends upon your workbook my workbook uh, let's see on desktop some workbook is will be there okay see see there is a money tracker i will right click and go to the properties so this is xls x so in the case of what xls x you need to make the object of x ssf okay and very first you need to read workbook so i will do the control space workbook wb equals to new x workbook and here i need to give the path of my file file input stream here is my file it is on desktop i need to copy the path this is the path I need tracker dot xls x it is trying to throw some exceptions so what i will do i will do the throws exception now after reading workbook i need to read the sheet so this was reading workbook now i need to read the sheet so wb dot get sheet what was the sheet name sheet name is december 22 it will return x ssf sheet x ssf sheet type of object so i stored into the x ssf sheet type of object after this you need to read the cell so sh dot which row which column in terms of index okay first row is zeroth index and second row is having first index and this one is having zeroth index of column okay i want to read 7 10 so this is uh, first row and zeroth column in terms of index so get row one dot get cell zero and whatever data is there convert to the to string and give me in the string type of variable i will print that data Okay, everyone, let's run it. Seven ten. So you might be getting that. Okay, here it is printing point zero extra value. So what you can do, you can give the here single quote to convert this into the string. Now, if you run, you will get the. 7 10 only you will not get the dot zero at the last okay everyone that's all for this video have a great day and don't forget to subscribe this channel bye